So I remember back in the day, I love when people start stories like that, like back in the day. Well, back in the day when we first started Triple D, you'd have to really go to Southern California to get a great Mexican taco, or go all the way down to Texas to get brisket, or over to New England to get great chowder. Well, times have changed, of course, but you know one food we don't see enough of all over the country? Puerto Rican food. Oh, you gotta go down to South Miami, you gotta get yourself down to Puerto Rico, unless you happen to be in Denver, because this food truck is doing the real deal. This is our eight, though. Rice, beans, and an order of the tozones. We don't go to any other food truck besides our eight It's like having a piece of the island in four wheels. Bleach his hair. Have him cover Monday. <laughs> Purple with amarillos. It tastes just like my grandmother or my mother would make it. That's because Eric Elias and Jari Ortiz are cooking up the kind of grub her grandmother and mom would make in Puerto Rico. What do people say to you about the first time they have Puerto Rican food? They love it. I mean, Puerto Rican food has poignant flavors. Where are you from? El Salvador. Now, did you yeah. know much about Puerto Rican food before this? Not to be honest with you. <laughs> she introduced me to mofongo and all this stuff. Here's your chicken mofongo. Enjoy. The mofongo is a plantain that they fry and match it. And then you have the chicken marinated in this amazing sauce. And so you have your sweet, you have your savory. It's a warm hug. Big guy in a little trailer. <laughs> What are we making first? Sofrito. This is the basis of our food. We're going to be using this on our chicken that goes into the mofongo. OK. Start with the cilantro, yellow onions. I'll start putting some water in here so we can start blending this. Things are getting a little out of control. Green peppers. Yep. Green onions. Top it off with the garlic. That was the most violent. You had your elbow in there and your <laughs> shoe. So the next step is we're going to make the chicken. Put it into our pressure cooker, the sofrito. A little chicken base. Some salt, tomato puree. Got it. Then we put a little water. So this is going to uh -huh. burn for an hour. This will just make this chicken all delicious and shreddable. Yes, yeah, very okay. tender, very moist. This means and moist actually... in Puerto Rican, in case anybody didn't know. I'm learning with you now, very moist. <laughs> OK, so when the chicken comes out and we shred it. Yeah, and then we actually put peppers and onions for another five minutes okay. so that they can get they soft, get... and then we. Shredded. And then it's all soft. good to go. <laughs> and what's the base of the mofongo? It's actually plantains. It's plantains. Once you cut them, let them fry until they're. <laughs> cut them into smaller pieces and then stir them in the polong. What are we going to add to that? Olive oil, garlic, salt, and then we're going to mix it all together. And then once we have the mold ready, we put the meat inside. A little jus right in there. Ah, it's a chicken bowl of fun. It's dynamite. It's better than dynamite. It's as legit as any mofongo I've ever had. I mean, even though it's got great moisture in itself, just a little kiss of that broth you spooned on is a game changer. Oh, this is so good. You know where you're going to find this truck? Parked at my house in Northern California. <laughs> Here's your chicken mofongo. Enjoy. The chicken's fantastic. She has it seasoned really nice. I could eat the plantains by themselves. Delicious. I invite everybody to come and try it. How do people find you around the greater Denver area? We post our schedule on Facebook, and okay. we also have a website. Anything else on the menu I should try? This is an alcapurria, and it reminds me of Puerto Rico. Two alcapurrias already. The alcapurria is a classic fritter from Puerto Rico. It's crunchy on the outside with a little bit of meat in it. It's all delicious. What is next on the game? The alcapurrias. We're going to start with the meat, oil and onions. A little of the sofrito, ground okay. beef. Yep, the salt, adobo tomato sauce, and uh, olives at the end. Next up. Now we're going to make the masa for alcapurrias. The alcapurria masa. Yes. How did so, that, you don't get to say that very often. What's your name? Uh, alcapurria. <laughs> alcapurria masa. <laughs> I'm a secret agent of Flavortown. <laughs> alcapurria masa. Yeah. This is the taro root. Cut it into smaller chunks. While you're grating that, I can start cutting the green bananas. It's all right here, right now, with alcapurria masa. <laughs> Mix these together. Granado oil. Yeah, the adobo. Add and a touch salt. of the salt. Yep. Place some masa. Oh, you need lots of masa. Wax paper. And lots of masa. We start filling it. Pinch it together, push it down a little bit. And then that goes directly to the fryer without the paper, though. Yep. And that's our uh, capuria fritter. Excuse me, I'm not from Puerto Rico, but if I can say something that looks like the work of acapuria. <laughs> acapuria masa. <laughs> it's light. It's tender, it's fluffy, not heavy. The picadillo inside of it, dynamite. The little bit of batter that's on the outside of it has got a great chew to it, and then goes super soft. Fantastic. Alcapurria is ready. The flavor is really nice, and the texture is really, really good. It's very tedious to make them. 
but they do a great job. Steak Ibarito, ready to go? One of the best restaurants in Colorado. Proud of you guys. You're doing it the right way. You're doing it with a lot of love, a lot of enthusiasm. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Well done. Appreciate that. And this is Acapulco Massa saying good night. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Did we get a, no, we're still standing here? Okay, that was weird.